Two of the playlists on my iPod are called Mellow and Perky. I listen to Mellow when I want to be relaxed and Perky when I want to be stimulated. So although our syllabus calls for us to study the relaxing aspect of music as a therapy, we might also ponder music's ability to stimulate us. But for now, let's keep our noses to the grindstone, stick to our syllabus, and examine music and relaxation. You will be doing a fair amount of listening and writing in this unit, so I have stretched the time over two weeks. You have studied the elements of music, rhythm, melody, and harmony, with their various subcategories. The next two weeks, some of the music we will study subjugates various elements of music to achieve its effect. The music we will listen to will not be found on the top ten list of popular classical or country music. Some of the topics we will study may very well cause you to be skeptical. We do, after all, live in the American heartland. We are supposed to keep our country on task. We love it when a diagnosis is made, a prescription is written, and a problem is solved. We also know that life and medicine are often not that simple. So let's keep an open a mind as possible as we inspect music and relaxation. During this two-week session, you will be asked to go to the discussions link on our course homepage to give your impressions of various topics. These impressions will, will be available for everyone to see. You will be graded on your participation but not your content. If you think a particular subject is a pile of hooey, don't be afraid to say so. If you have experience with one of these therapies, please share your knowledge. Matt Lauer from the NBC show Today was the guinea pig for Dr. Galena Mindland's brain music therapy. Pause this presentation now, go to the course homepage, and click the link Brain Music. Click on Matt Lauer. When the website opens, click on the picture of Matt being prepped for an EEG. After you watch this, go to the discussions link on the course homepage and give your reactions. If you are interested further in this topic, you may click on the Brain Music Therapy link on the home page. Music in the Western tradition works with the elements of music as you have learned them. The vast majority of music we listen to has, like a good story, a beginning, a middle, and an end. There are road marks or cadences along the way to guide our listening to a satisfying conclusion. But what if those cadences weren't there and the music simply wandered seemingly aimlessly with no destination? Stephen Halpern, one of the composers of what has disparagingly been called airy-fairy music, makes a strong case for his inner peace music to induce relaxation, healing, and general well-being. After all, if a person is freed from having to take steps to reach a goal as on vacation, would not music without traditional cadence points work to put us in a state of mental vacation? Pause the presentation now and read Halpern's rationale you will have to scroll down to the section on relaxation, well-being, and music to read his reasons for composing this music without destination. Pause now and click on the Halpern's Relaxation Suite link on the course homepage. Once there, click on the Relaxation Suite CD and listen to several examples of this music several times. Then go again to the discussions link 
and leave your reactions. Paul Collier, a composer from the United Kingdom, has posted on YouTube a song called Leaving the Dark Place Behind. While using music to combat depression is not really a part of this course, I'd like your impressions on this music from both an emotional and a musical viewpoint. Pause this presentation, listen to the link labeled Peace and Happiness several times. Then go again to the discussions link and leave your feedback. Build as the most relaxing music imaginable, the music found in the link of the same name is also by Paul Collier. I want you to listen to the music on this link several times and then leave your impressions on the discussions link again. Talk about how this piece of music is different than the previous piece by Collier. Graham Smith, a musician and according to the Calm Time website we saw in last week's presentation, calls himself a coach, teacher, and therapist to help adults and children relax. He, with his partner Daphne Nankulus, a professional singer and registered homeopath, are the forces behind Calm Time, an effort to use music to help babies and their sleep-deprived mothers to relax and get the sleep they need. When we see ads on TV for Ambien, we might wonder if music can reduce pain and relaxation, why not induce sleep and overall well-being as well? As this week's lecture comes to a close, go to the course homepage and click on the Calm Time link. Listen to the four sound examples several times and then go to the discussion link and write your impressions of this music. Compare it to the music of Halpern and Collier.